What's up guys? Welcome to Randi Vlogs. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a super easy and delicious shakuri board. They are really simple to make. I'm going to share my favorite tips that will impress everyone. Actually, it's easier than you think. It depends on any kind of part. Let's get started of making our cheese board. We need a lot of different items. These are the things we need. We need cheeses, salamis, sausages, drumsticks, boiled eggs, hamburgers, a subway sandwich, crackers, peanuts, some, some french fries, some mayonnaise, some ketchup, fruits and light cheese and some potato chips. So this is my shakuri board. I bought it because it's fancy looking. You can pick any kind of shakuri board but I picked this one. Now I'm going to start by putting on my cheeses. Now I'm going to put cheddar cheese. There's many kind of cheeses. Soft cheese, hard cheese, cheddar cheese. Now I'm going to cut the cheese into segments. Now I'm going to transfer my cheddar cheese into my cheese board. Now I'm going to put this right in the center. Now I'm going to take another cheese. It's porcelain cheese. Now I'm going to cut it open. Now I'm going to cut my processed cheese into cubes. Now I'm going to transfer my prepared cheese into my cheese board. Now I'm done putting my cheeses on my shakuri board. Now I'm gonna put my meats on my shakuri board. Now I'm done putting my cheeses on my shakuri board. Now I'm gonna put my meats on my shakuri board. Keep in mind that you are gonna fill all of these empty spaces. Now I'm gonna put my sausages on my cheese board. Now I'm gonna put my drumstick on my cheese board. Now I'm going to put my burger patties on. Now I'm going to transfer my chicken nuggets on my cheese board. Now I'm going to put my salamis on my cheese board. Now I'm going to transfer my boiled seasoned eggs into my cheese board. to put something in a separate dish I will always like to put them in first so I can gauge some space around my cheese board now I'm gonna put my chips on my cheese board now I'm gonna put my subway sandwiches and burgers I will put the subway sandwich right here and these burgers maybe right here now I'm finished putting my meats and cheeses now I'm gonna put my fruits so they are easy to grab and serve. Our board is filling up nicely. Now I'm gonna add colors with fresh fruits. You know apple is delicious fruit. Now I'm gonna slice them. Now I like to slice them. You can do this with any kind of apple. Now I'm gonna add fresh grapes. Before putting it in your cheese board, first you need to cut it into smaller segments. That way it will be easy to grab. Now I will put them in my shakuri board. Now 
Now I'm going to transfer my cut oranges into my cheese board. Because I don't have strawberries, I'm using light cheese. Now I'm gonna use crackers. Wow, I got a lot of crackers and some nuts. Now I'm gonna put some crackers right over here. Now I'm gonna put some wedding crackers somewhere. Hmm. This looks good over here. So I will stick a bunch of them in there. Now I'm going to put some crumbles. So I'm going to fill the leftover faces with nuts. Now I'm going to fill the leftover spaces with nuts. Now I'm going to put some walnuts. From the scissors right here. Where should I put it? How about right here? Wow, they are red nuts. Now I'm gonna put a sweet treat that is chocolate. Put some right here, some here, some near the cheese to where it fits, and some here. There's some space right here. Now our shakuri board is finished. I'm really happy with the outcomes of my shakuri board. It looks so fancy. Just look at it. Which are really pretty and look great. I love apples and grapes tasted together. Cashew nuts. It was all just delicious. Do you make shakuri board? When you do, you should fill it all with your favorite foods. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like this Shakur Rebo. If you like my channel, you should subscribe, leave a like and click the bell button and comment because I like reading comments.